Hello, in this video, we're gonna be covering a story from Protestia. This is really a shocking thing. There's a new Christian conference called Fearless Army Roll Call 2.0, and Mormon Glenn Beck is speaking at this conference. So there, this is being promoted as a Christian conference, and guess who's speaking with alongside a Mormon? Well, Vody Bauckham and John Cooper of Skillet. Now, there's some other guys here. You can see the picture here. Let's go over to the article. Uh, in the picture is John Rich. He's a country music singer. From what I remember, he sings songs glorifying drunkenness and fornication, so I'm not all that surprised that he's involved. Jason Whitlock, I don't know much about him. I mean, um, who's the other guy that I mentioned? John Cooper. Yeah, the heavy metal band, Christian heavy metal band Skillet. He's toured with some pretty satanic bands in the past. So I'm not really all that surprised about any of this except for Vody Bauckham. So I kind of want to give him the benefit of the doubt that he didn't know that Glenn Beck was speaking. Uh, but yeah, you cannot, based on 2 Corinthians chapter 6, uh, you cannot have fellowship. I mean, we are supposed to be separate from the world, right? but we are definitely supposed to be separate from false religion. Uh, so you cannot have ecumenical fellowship with apostates and cults. So to speak at a Christian conference with a Mormon is just, it's beyond the pale, really. So let's read the article. A highly disturbing new conference has emerged featuring Jason Whitlock, John Rich, Vody Bauckham, and Skillet's John Cooper and Mormon Glenn Beck. According to the promo material, Fearless Army Roll Call 2.0 is a gathering celebration and encouragement of men to put on the full armor of God and to take a stand against evil forces destroying American culture, insisting that it's important that men not give up meeting together and encouraging one another towards love and good deeds. And then they quote Hebrews 10, 24 and 25, which I think is taking that out of context a little bit, that is in reference to the local church and, you know, forsaking the church. And this is, this has nothing to do with church, obviously, if Glenn Beck is being invited. Uh, the conference is being put on because Jason Whitlock and John Rich believe the best way to close the divide tearing America apart is to bring men together under the umbrella of worship, reverence, and song honoring or songs, it's supposed to be songs, it says song, songs honoring our Lord Jesus Christ. Okay. The conference is designed to inspire men, and get this, to put aside superficial differences and serve our shared creator. Mormonism, this is not a superficial difference. Okay, these other guys singing songs, glorifying drunkenness and fornication, that's not a superficial difference either. But just to focus on Mormonism, are you really saying, Jason Whitlock, whoever's putting this conference on, that, oh, Mormonism and Christianity, they're just a little different, but the differences are just superficial. Well, maybe that's what Joel Osteen says, but that is not true. It's a different God, different Jesus, different holy book, the Book of Mormon, different gospel. I mean, this, this is bad. This is bad. So you see the pictures here. Here are the speakers. Here's one list of speakers. A lot of these, most of these guys I don't know. Here's a different list, different uh, promo uh, poster here. It says, that might be possible, the article continues, you know, setting aside superficial differences. They say that might be possible if Mormon Glenn Beck wasn't speaking and teaching. For what partnership, and then they quote the Bible, Protestia does. Protestia is spot on with this, by the way. For what partnership has righteousness with lawlessness? And what, what does light have with polyistic cults? That's right. And that's a paraphrase from 2 Corinthians chapter 6. That's what it says. Second Corinthians six, do not be unequally yoked together with unbelievers. Glenn Beck is an unbeliever. He is not a Christian. He's a Mormon. For what fellowship has righteousness with lawlessness and what communion has light with darkness and what accord has Christ with Belial, that is with Satan or what part has a believer with an unbeliever? Well, they are, they're having part, taking part and coming together in this conference. 
And then the article continues about, you know, all the things that are wrong with Mormonism. And again, you know, they have a different God. Okay. We believe that there is the one true God, the eternal God, creator of heaven and earth, the father of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. But according to Mormons, the God they worship was once a human being living in outer space near the star Kolob. And he, through the rites and rituals of the Mormon religion, uh, achieved God status. And then he had polygamous sex in heaven, the celestial kingdom in heaven, where him and his polygamist wives had spirit babies. And we all pre-existed in a former life. And then we came to earth and we're supposed to be good Mormons and we can become gods of our own planet someday. Yes, this is, this is what Mormonism teaches. Obviously that's not Christianity. And then the article says, so as long as Glenn Beck is speaking, we would implore John Cooper and Vody Bauckham to back out immediately as no one should be going to this conference. In fact, even if Glenn Beck does back out, the fact that the conference organizers invited him in the first place uh, demonstrates they do not understand the gospel and we would not trust them to convey any spiritual truth worth knowing. Okay, so let me just end the video by saying this. If Glenn Beck wasn't speaking and they said this was, or even if Glenn Beck was speaking and they said this was like an America, con this is a conference about America and restoring America to whatever, you know, conservatism. I still think it would be unwise for Vody Bauckham to attend unless Vody Bauckham, here's the thing. I, I think a preacher, a Christian preacher can preach anywhere, but it depends on what he says. And is he giving the impression that, hey, this is all fine. So if Vody Bauckham were to speak and he makes it clear Mormonism is a false religion, hey, okay, I'm, I'm okay with that. It's like Ravi Zacharias. Remember, Ravi Zacharias was invited to speak at the Mormon temple and Ravi did a video. He's like, what's going on here? Am I being used? I'm just going to go and I'm going to preach the gospel. And at the end of his speech at the Mormon temple, Ravi uh, gave God's blessing to all the Mormon elders. So, I mean, that's just a total train wreck. And I hope the same thing doesn't happen here because I, I think Vody Bauckham is pretty solid and I'd be surprised uh, if something didn't change. So, all right, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Till next time, may the Lord be with you. Have a great day.